Well, hello everyone. I hope that your day is going absolutely amazing whenever this video finds you. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Alyssa. It is so incredibly nice to meet you. I hope that you'll consider subscribing and hanging out with me. And if you're not new here, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's video. So it is a haul. I had another haul filmed, but I, what was I doing? Oh, I was editing it and I accidentally deleted part of it. So um, that haul is just going to have to kind of go amiss, but I did not want to lose the opportunity to show you all of these goodies here. These are some more pieces that I got in. Um, those of you know, or who have been following me for a while know that I am kind of on a no spend. Um, this is kind of stuff that I have slowly got in. It's a mix of PR packages or stuff that I've ordered a while ago. I am not allowed to order any stickery things until after March 7th. We're just in the midst of paying off our wedding or well, paying our wedding before we go. So we had both decided that a no spend would have been great. However, ever after March 7th, all bets are off. <laughs> so I'm excited to be able to pick up some more things. This is the majority of what's coming. I do have a couple of little things coming and a Harriet Wright Designs um, planner coming and I'm excited to walk through that with you, but that's going to be a whole video. So in here, I have a mix of journaling things. I have an advent kit cause I really want to show you this advent kit before I put it away and plan and like put it in my like planning, um, like my kit order. So, and I just feel like it needs to be shown cause it's super, super cute. So we're going to start off with my letters to Apollo order and the advent, and then we'll kind of move in to the rest of it. We are kind of in crunch time here right now. It's been a little crazy, um, especially with just like wedding stuff. So I, again, if you are new here, normally I do um, upload at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, but right now with just the wedding and school and being in my pretty much almost my last semester, um, I am just a little overwhelmed. So I'm trying to kind of keep my sanity and I still want these videos to be decent quality and I don't want the quality to lack just because I'm kind of just like throwing things out. So just be patient with me after the wedding in April. I promise you we'll be back to normal. I always have that itch to film, but I always feel like I don't have that time. It's a super balance of my time right now. So just keep that in mind. If you are planning on subscribing, just know that this isn't normal for me. I usually do at least upload once um, at least once a week. Okay. So first and foremost, let's start off with the advent calendar from Letters to Apollo. Cause I feel like I've been sitting on it for so long and I just, I want to show you guys how gorgeous this is and just chat about when I'm planning on using it. So I did get the full Letters to Apollo advent. It came with washi. It came with a gorgeous pen. Um, it came with a bunch of little pieces that I'm actually using quite consistently. So I don't like, I don't really have them kind of fresh like this, but okay. So this was the Advent Day 3, which I love. I think I might pull from some of these for this week's video. So, so cute. And there are these cute little like lacy floral dividers and toppers. I love them. And then we also have some bonus day. She did a, two bonuses, I think, I believe. And this was one of them actually really enjoyed her advent. Her advent was my favorite. I think next year I definitely want to get hers again and then potentially probably a Sadie stickers and a giving girl. I was very much on the like one advent calendar a Christmas, but I'm like next year I want three. So, and that's okay too. I love them. And I like that she has the work stickers and kind of all the different things that go through like the monthly pieces. So I love date dots. I have been running low and then Advent Day 9 was another set of, oh, there it is, was another set of um, dividers. I think I know how I want to try and use these. I want to, I might use this this week as well because I'm doing a Valentine's Day thing. I'm going to be filming that after this. I'm very excited. I love these. And then also some butterfly pieces, which is great because I have some more butterfly things coming. And this is Advent Day 7. So pretty. I love this. And then this kit is called Promise. So this is the Advent Kit in gold. Look how gorgeous that is. And I'm going to use this in the heart of spring, like end of May. Super florally, very pink and gorgeous. And then we have these beautiful day covers. 
And then we have the boxes. These have been sitting on my desk <laughs> and I've been wanting to go ahead and uh, haul them so bad. And then we also have, look at that washi, isn't that gorgeous? And I love that all of the extras match the kit. It's so pretty. I love this. And then she also did a day of florals. Look how gorgeous that is. And these will be nice to split because they're so abundant and pretty. And they also have these really pretty little round points. Oh, and then this is also the extra box. These are the extra boxes with the toppers. And then she also did a set of um, premium matte. Let me just pull these sheets apart. Premium matte. Aren't they so pretty? I love the rose gold, it's gorgeous. All right, and that is that. So that is the kit that came with the advent. Again, there were some really gorgeous extras in there, but I hope you guys grab them too. If you did grab this advent, let me know when you're going to be using it. I am very excited to hear about it. And onto my order. Okay, so I ordered journaling. This was a very journaly order. I believe I've got a kit coming. And I think I'm done for journaling kits. Yeah, I'm definitely done for journaling kits. <laughs> All right, so I also picked up some work from home. Stickers in transparent matte. So pretty. And I picked up the florals for each. So let's open these up. So I have growth, which is really cute. I believe I picked up two. Oh, I did pick up two. Um, St. Patrick's Day kits. Sounds like me. So journaling kits. I love her journaling kits. I actually really like the boxes. So these are meant to be, I believe they're A5 kits, um, but I use them in my journal. My Aura Style journal um, in my Annie Plants collab. I actually really like it. I want to get another cover. I want to get it in white too. And then growth. And then this is the St. Patrick's Day one. And if you did not know, <laughs> I do have a, a what you call it. I do have a PR code for you. It is Alyssa 10 for 10% off your order. Plus you're going to get my freebie. I do PR for her. I absolutely love being on her team. And then those are the deco pieces. Like look how pretty that is. I'm so excited. And then we have the floral bits. I love these. So that is my, just my little tiny order. I have another one, I believe on its way I made last week. Super excited for that, but that is my little order. And then we also, again, have the advent pieces. So again, if you order the advent calendar, let me know which, um, which, which, not which, but when are you gonna be using it? I'm very excited to hear. I wanna hear all about it. Um, let me know where you're gonna be using it and maybe we can use it the same week. If you are another YouTuber or you do post your spreads, let me know. I'm always up for collab. I love a good collab. It doesn't necessarily have to be a YouTube one. It can be an Instagram one as well. I do those quite often. So yeah. All right, so that is that. That is my order from Let Us Do Apollo. Again, Alyssa 10 will get you 10% off your entire order. Plus my freebie. Okay. My next order is from Paper Trail Plants. It is a tiny, tiny baby order. I did this with Yana. I just needed my work scripts and then some little extra pieces. So we have the Valentine's sampler, which is perfect because I'm gonna be planning for my Valentine's Day spread. And then I also picked up some dividers. That's so cute. And I picked up some dot dividers. These were specifically for Valentine's Day. And then I also picked it up in silver because my wedding kit, I believe it's my wedding kit. Is it my wedding kit? Yeah, my wedding kit is also um, is a silver kit. So I wanted this for that as well. And then I ran out of my work scripts as well. I wanted to kind of change between work from home and work. I just don't, I like kind of changing up my scripts a bit. So I picked up work scripts and these are my favorite from her. And they are from, um, they're just for just like work and they're on transparent matte, which is, I love the way it shines. I get why people have been purchasing. Um, I think I said a couple of videos back. I understand why people are loving. Um, oh, I get my phone is ringing. It's totally throwing me off. Um, I get why people are 
ordering transparent matte with foil, the pop and the lack of glare in photos is gorgeous. So I'm very, very happy with these. I am going to be ordering from her again, but I cannot do it until after March 7th. Then I can breathe a little bit and just know that my whole wedding is done. And I have it's completely paid for and I don't have to worry. So until then, we are on a no spend. All right. So that is that little order. And I don't have a PR code from her, but she does have a PR team. So next I have my order from Sadie Stickers. It is another set of journaling pieces. I have a lot of her kit that I'm going to be using in the next, in the upcoming months. Um, so I haven't really ordered a full kit from her in a while, but I want to. There's a couple that she recently released that I want to order. So, okay. So we have a couple of journaling kits and then freebies. So there were four freebie sheets in ours. So I gave two to Yana and then I grabbed two of my own. Um, I just kind of like toss and toss. <laughs> and then, so I have, let's see. I love her journaling sheets are so cute. So I picked up three of them. So I picked up luck, which I'll just use two in March and that's okay too. Two green kits, look how pretty that is. And I picked up the matching floral. So pretty. And I find I don't need more than just the floral. Where did I get? Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry. I was looking I something was in here that has to go in Yana's pack. All right. So here we go. How cute is that? And then also flower child. And I do not have a PR code for her. I'm not on her team. However, she does have a group of PR girls. So check them out and you can use their code. They're a really super generous code and they have freebies as well. And then we also have patience with the florals. I love these florals. I think I ordered these and I ordered these. No, these look like they belong in Yana's. I'm going to pop that in Yana's bag. All right. There we go. Patience. So, so cute. And there we go. Or did I order that from my last? I can't remember. I got to check my order form. <laughs> All right. So there we are. CD stickers. So cute. And I also grabbed one of her grab bags. Yana and I each grabbed one. And then for those who ask me if we ever grab grab bags, what do I do? I basically lie them like this and I pop them in piles and then I kind of put them away. So I don't know what's in hers. Um, so I just grabbed this. And usually what we do is when we get together and we hand them off, we kind of sort through them. Um, and we trade off like what, which ones that we think that sh like each other would like, or if there's like mom related ones, it tends, she tends to give them, like I tend to give them to her. Or if there's like ones like school related, those tend to come to me. So we actually sit down and we kind of trade off almost like we're out opening a pack of Pokemon cards. Same idea. Um, so this is the one I got, but a lot of this probably won't be staying with me. It just will go back in the pack. And then when it's time to see Yana, if there's anything in there that she doesn't love from hers and there's anything here that doesn't quite suit me, we end up kind of trading off. So that's how we do it for, I get a lot of questions about ordering like grab bags and stuff with her because we do order quite frequently. Um, for those who don't know, Yana is my planner bestie. Um, we're friends in real life as well. And we hang out and our partners are friends. So we see each other. It used to be more often, just not as often because we live quite far, but, um, we still do all of our ordering together, which kind of gives us an excuse to see each other too. So, <laughs> all right. So we have a happy birthday script in this one and then the shells. So cute. And then, oh, these are cute. Holiday date dangles. I already finished all my Christmas. So I'm going to have to hang on to this for next year. And then the string light dividers, mini garlands. So, so cute. And then also layered garlands in rose gold, mini pine cone branch. And then we have the pine dividers. Oh, and then snowflake toppers. I have so many of these. They're so great for winter kits. Pretty daisy branches. Little ooh, cute little bows. Little ribbon mini decos. And then we have the floral. These are great. I love these. I have them in a couple. I've worn these a couple times or I ordered a couple of them from her last time. And then we have the bows and the August 2021 monthly scripts, which again, these are really great for just the scripts and the icons. And then these guys, and then the ribbon garland. 
so cute. And then these are snowflake trims. Oh, cute. These are super cute, actually. I have a rose gold winter kit coming up, so these are really, really pretty. And then she wears those in some, like, extras. So we have in the Bon Appetit extras, or the full boxes, the Time full boxes, the January 2021 kit boxes. And then we have the memory boxes and icons. And then, oh, these are cute, Autumn Day. Super cute. So for those, and this is B6. So for those who are um, who are wondering what I could do, get kind of questions as to what I do with like these kind of sheets. So what I do is I pop them in the album and I have a full album and I do want to do a giveaway with it. I just, there's some sheets that I've pulled from that I want to fill up first. I just, I noticed it while I was planning a giveaway and I went to like open it. Um, this is definitely something that um, Lauren from Plan Most Plans does. I do want to give away that I don't use it. Um, and I just have basically a full album of just stickers from kits from leftovers. So I might take a page from her book and make sure that's okay. I will be reaching out to her. Don't worry. Um, but I do want to give that away in some sort of a giveaway. My Instagram just hit over 4,000. So I might make it a call like a combined giveaway. Um, but I'll have to see. I know I've been saying it for a while. Just, I found some pages that were, had pieces like missing from spots missing. So I'm going to be filling those up first. I guess it's from just one. Like I, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's from when I like pulled random boxes. I also, if I have any kids that are very similar in color and theme, I will generally like pink date covers, super easy to reuse. I will generally kind of match it with that in case I need something specific for it. Or you can always use them in B6s as well. Or if you have like a journaling, like this is a B6 kit, it can easily be a journaling. Um, if you get some like matching florals, it can be like a journaling kit. So that this I might hang on to as a journaling kit for autumn, but like these, I'll pop them in there and then they'll just kind of go into like a giveaway. So people, I know some people really like to Franken plan and pull pieces from like older kits to plan with. So I'm going to pop those in that book. I actually have a second one started, um, without realizing that I hadn't filled that first one completely. So don't worry that it's coming. I know some of you guys mentioned it before and I hadn't mentioned it si since I just had saw some like random spots, like chaps of pages. I didn't want not to fill. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to reach out to Lauren and see if it's okay that I, you know, do a giveaway with it. Cause I know that's like her thing as well, but, and that's like what she does too. So yeah. And so I, I'm not going to use it. I feel like I go to a good home. So, okay. So next is an order from Miss and Yao. Also a local planner friend. Can we just talk about how cute her look packaging is? I want to do something with mine. I've got to keep these packages from her. So this is a mix. I do want to order some more from her too. I just, I wasn't supposed to order this. I'm supposed to be on a no spend, but here we are. Uh, <laughs> I generally don't do well for no spends and I'm quite surprised at myself. I think this was this and one other order I made that day. Um, and then other than that, I haven't been able to really order anything. And I really do like supporting um, a lot of my planner uh, shop owner friends. It just, it's special to me. So I do what I can, even though I'm not supposed to be, but you know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> okay, let me just start this. Okay, so first let's go through the freebies. If you have not seen um, Regina's shop, which I don't know how you have not, her stuff is always so meticulously beautiful and stunning. I highly recommend you check her out. Look how cute this is. This is her freebie. And then she's also popped in these little days, which is going to be, oh, this is for the monthly. I'm the worst. Come on, Alyssa, get with it. Okay, <laughs> I'll go back to that. So first we have Lilac Fields. I actually ordered the kit. I... I don't know what it is with this kit. It's absolutely stunning. It's, I love rose gold, but for some reason it was the silver that really kind of pulled me in. I love this. It's so, you know what? It cools it down. It's so gorgeous. It's pretty, it's soft, it's airy. And Regina always does so well with her kits. I love this. And then we have date covers and dividers. And then we also have the boxes. Like, look how pretty that is. That can be hard from a former shop owner. Lining that up is incredibly hard. I, oh, foil for me was like rough. It was a hard thing to do. I still have all my stuff too. I just don't have the time. And I prefer to PR and support friends. That's kind of where my head is. So cute. Look at that. And then I also picked up the transparent. I 
didn't think I would love transparent florals, but I, for some reason, it almost, I don't know what it is. It doesn't pop off the page so much. I find like it just blends in beautifully, almost like a background. I love, love, love transparent florals. I've been preferring them lately. Or sometimes what I'll do is I'll buy one transparent and one not, but I just, I love one of these in transparent. They're so pretty. And this, you can do so much with this because you can see what's behind it, which I think is so cute. So I have an idea with that. I'm excited. And I will also be using some of those in here too. So I, yeah, because they're not foiled. So this is the monthly. I picked up the monthly from her. Again, I don't lay my monthlies down on screen. Um, I do lay them down on my own time. I still have to do a walkthrough of my, <laughs> my last year's monthlies. I just have to finish one month. All right. And then I picked up April. Same kit. However, I, for some reason, wanted this one in rose gold. It just, for me, it screamed rose gold. I prefer the rose gold for the monthly. It's so weird how that worked out. And I really like that this is just such like simple font. I really like it. And then we also have the boxes. So cute. And I have had some questions about what monthlies I use. Um, so my, do I have it here? I do. So my, um, inserts are from Sadie stickers. So these kits absolutely fit the Sadie stickers monthlies. I know it fits the caress press ones, or at least it did for last year's, um, with a little bit of finagling, it can fit the aura Estelle ones. I don't know about this year's, but I know they didn't last year. You just had to do a little bit of trimming, but it for the most part, most part fit, or was it the year before? It might be the year before. Um, but I do, they do definitely fit the, and I believe they also fit the Harriet Wright Designs ones. I think she's got a set too. So if that's what you're wondering, <laughs> but that is that. So that is my little order for Miss and Meow. She does not have a PR team, but I know some people actually use um, her, oh God, affiliation codes. Um, but I know, and I believe Rachel Gathered Plans has one. So definitely check her out. I'm going to lay down my April at some point today. I'm very excited for it. So that is my gorgeous order from Miss and Meow. Thank you, Regina. I love it all. I'm so excited. All right. Next one is from Giving Girl. I do PR for Giving Girl. I do have a code for you. It is Alyssa, 10 for 10% off your entire order. It is, um, you, there's a code down. There's also an affiliate link in my Instagram as well. So here are her freebies. Also, can we talk about her? Her like packaging. I feel like we all need to see this. <laughs> How cute is that? I love these, they're so pretty. But these freebies are so cute. I know she released these, I ordered some. I'm so excited for those ones. <laughs> all right, and this is just kind of a fill up. I needed these, I needed some more of these guys. I ran out of my gold and I ran out of this in the gold as well, the both gold, yeah. As you can see, I had a lot of gold kits. Um, and I also picked up the oops bags. Her oops bags are always so fun. <laughs> I always compare oops bags and random pulls to planner gambling. It just, that's what it feels like. <laughs> okay, cute. All right, so in my little oops bag, it is this. And then we also have this guy here. How cute is that, right? And then these, I'm going to hang on to these for autumn. I use these in the autumn. I love them. Yay. I don't have any more Christmas kits, but this is cute. I'm going to hang on to it for next year. I didn't do a pink Christmas kit this year. I might make a point to do one next year. And then, oh, these are perfect. Wintery kind of Christmassy date dots, but great for winter. I think I've got a winter gold kit. And then also, oh, what are you? Oh, cute. Oh, it's the gift. It's the uh, Black, Black Friday gift. Super cute. And then pieces of kits, I believe. So these are great. I think I have this kit. So I'm going to throw that in with that kit for the extra boxes. And then fancy bow boxes. Cute. I actually don't have this one in rose gold. I have it in gold. And then we have these guys in gold. And then these guys in rose gold. I love these. I have these and they're so great. So I can hang on to it for next year. And I have to, I think one of her winter kits has the same florals and I haven't fully finished planning with it, but I think I've got it in silver. So I may have to finagle it, but look how cute that is. She is really great 
grab bags and oops bags. I don't see a single oops. I think these might just be overstock, but they're so, so cute. So again, this is Giving Girl. I do have a code for you. It is Alyssa10 for 10% off your order. I have planned with one of our kits. I didn't film it only because I, it was like the first or second week in January and I just needed to film. I, not, I needed to just plan, but I am going to take photos of it and I'm going to do a walkthrough video with it. I'm just finishing it up. Um, so probably next week I'll have that walkthrough video of that one. Um, last week's and then the one in between them too, because there are three that I didn't film, but I did want to plan. So, cause I actually do like to plan. Um, I'm actually super excited. I have a Harriet Wright design planner coming. So you're going to kind of see me jump back and forth on my aura style and my Harriet Wright. And the whole idea is I want to be able, A, I have way too many kits that I want to work through. Um, so, and I find that they're going to, they're just kind of sitting there and then next year rolls around and I won't plan with them. I'll just, because trends will change, but I still want to be able to plan with them because I love them. So you're going to see me jump back and forth from my ring planner and my coil bound planner. And then what I'll do is at the end of the video, I will show you the same week with a different kit in the opposite planner and show you what I did. And that's going to be, allow me to kind of plan on my own. Cause I like to plan by myself in just little pieces. Um, it'll probably be the same in terms of like what I do, or it might be the other things that I don't necessarily put in my planner. Um, it'll also allow me when Yon and I get together, want to plan together. I can actually plan a week with her. So I'm excited for that. So keep an eye out for that. And I will do a video and a walkthrough on that planner. Cause I know a lot of you guys who especially are in Canada, haven't ordered from her before and she is in England. Um, so I will do a walkthrough in case you're curious to see how gorgeous her planners are. And I'm very excited for that. So all right, so there we go. That is my giving girl order. Okay, I've got two more. All right, so my next one <laughs> is an order from Pretty Pink Co. I'm very excited. Okay, this one is kind of a really good example of, <laughs> super good example of me ordering two of the similar type of kits because I'm going to be using them in different planners. So here we are. <laughs> All right, so this is from Pretty Pink Coat. This is a wedding style kit. Um, I do have a code for you from her. It is Alyssa15 for 15% 15 off your entire order. Plus, you'll get my freebie, which is right here. Um, it's super cute and some rose gold. I love it and I actually use all of these all the time so they're some of my favorite icons um, and then she also included a freebie which is perfect for winter I love that um, okay so I have I'm not even gonna tell you how many wedding kits I have <laughs> I think it's like five or something I have five wedding kits um, I am going to be using two in the month of April um, one for the week we fly out the week of the wedding and the one for the week after, cause we come back the next week. So it kind of allowed me, um, to do that. I might in one of them do one wedding kit and one beach kit, and then I might, uh, de-stash the two or hang on to them because I've got friends who will probably get married soon. So we'll see. But this one here is a kind of a really good example of I'm going to be using one of my ring bound and then I'm going to be planning for one of my own in my other planner, which one that is, I don't quite know. Um, like which one will I'll be filming. I don't know, but you'll see both of them. So, and that won't be done until after I get back. I'm just letting you know, I, I won't be pre planning this. I'll just be going crazy. Um, so this is called happiest day. It is from pretty pink Co. It is absolutely beautiful in gold foil. Um, the ones I have are in silver and rose gold. So I wanted something a little, different to choose from but this is so pretty and then we also have the boxes and then we have some more deco pieces or layering pieces and then these really pretty headers down here like honestly this kit is look at that that's so pretty this layering under like even this yes for me um and then a cute so lovely you loved you loved you yesterday love you till Hold on. Love you still, always have, always will. Oh my God, cute. So loved you yesterday, love you still, love you, always have, always will. Why can't I read that? <laughs> okay, super cute. So it's loved you yesterday, love you still, always have, always will. Super cute. Look how gorgeous that is. I love this. And then I did order some other sheets for it. So I picked up the florals. This is the Deco 1.0. It is a full sheet of florals. And then <laughs> I picked up the Happiest Day Deco 2.0 with the toppers, which I think I'm going to use these a little differently. I had an idea. I just don't know if it's going to work. And then 
I also have the colored frames as well. And the nice part about this is whatever I don't use like this, I can use these pieces in my journal. So it won't just be for um, the one spread. A lot of this I'll probably be using in my journal so I can spread it out. That's the nice thing about these more abundant kits or like buying the extra pieces is you can also pop them in your journal and have them match that week. So yeah, I think I ordered a journaling <laughs> From saucy stickers i think she did a journaling version someone did a journaling version of this i think i ordered it with the same um art but a little different in a transparent mat i don't remember so that is that that is my little order from pretty pinko i think i've got another one coming from her soon i have to double check so all right on to my last one this is another super cute order this is from Harriet Wright Designs, and it is my birthday kit. <laughs> so this is called Celebrate. Oh my God, it's so cute. And I also ordered some extras with it. This is my, I believe this is one of my PR orders. I do PR for her. I believe my code is, oh, there we go. There we go. So I do PR for her. I believe my code is Alyssa20 for 20% off your entire order. This is going to be my birthday kit. It is in gold foil. Her paper is so lush and so pretty. I love this. And then we have the pretty boxes and then some of your sidebar here. And then here we have, let's see, your headers, your sidebar, an additional box, which I really like. I have an idea with that. I don't know if it's going to work, but I have an idea. My ideas don't always like land. So, all right, we also have date covers and then some washi. And that's really pretty to that layer over that. Oh, I have an idea to it. See, my idea is an oil lens, so I gotta be careful. But that is so gorgeous. There's a lot of work happening in my hallway, if you can't hear it. And then I also picked up um, some floral, or it comes with florals, Natty. Welcome to living with a dog. Uh, and then we also have, let's see. I also picked up some of her $2 Tuesday from that week. So I picked up the butterfly confetti, which is nice. It's going to match the letter it's to Apollo order that, or the advent calendar kit that I bought. So it's kind of, it'll be nice to mix them. And then we also have the floral dividers. So pretty. And I also picked up some lace dividers as well. And she does do $2 Tuesdays, so make sure you check it out. It is, for Canadians, it is two pounds, so do keep that in mind. Um, however, it is always incredibly worth it. Um, I always just say be mindful of the um, exchange rate. I tend to buy in pounds quite often, <laughs> so I'm okay with it. I'm used to exchange rate, especially after having to book a wedding and Nathan's family being in the UK. So we've had to play with pounds a little bit, so I'm not, I'm kind of averse in it now. Um, but keep, uh, keep an eye out for her $2 Tuesdays. They're always so gorgeous and bountiful. This is such a pretty order. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be perfect for my birthday week. Um, again, my code is Alyssa20 for 20% off your order. Is it a 15 or 20? I have to double check, but, um, I'll have that down in the description box below. Check out all of these gorgeous shops. I'm so excited for you guys to see this video. Um, let me know if you have any of these kits, what are you planning on using them? And maybe we can use them at the same time. Um, I know a lot of you guys want me to do a walk through of what I'm using that month. So like my February lineup. Um, I know a lot of planner girls do that. I know Shante Plans does it. Um, I think Virgo Plans does it. Um, I think uh, Sweet Like Honey, I think does it. There's a couple that do it. Um, I will consider it. I'm thinking about it. It just, if I do, I, it won't be consistent until after the wedding. I just, or if I do, it'll probably be the only additional, Natty, can you hear her? She shows drama today. And it'll probably be the only additional um, besides like a random haul here and there that I do on top of my plan with me. So just hang tight. I promise you'll be back to posting normal just after this wedding. I will say um, this Saturday I do, or this, yeah, I'm hoping so. Yeah, this Saturday I do have a um, plan with me going up. It is a collab. I'm very excited for the collab. Um, and then I won't have one next week and I just don't have the time. I got a lot of assignments due, but I will have one the following week. So, and then I'll do a walkthrough, I think of all four kits that you guys have missed. Um, and then we'll just go into depth about them, chat about them, show you what I use, what kits I use. That way you're not fully missing everything. And I can still show you these gorgeous kits that are being used these days. So that is that, that is my little tiny, not tiny, but that is my haul for now. Um, 
I will be back with my next little bit that's coming and then there'll be a little bit of a lull for hauls because I haven't really been ordering too much. And then we'll be back to normal after March 7th. So very excited for that, not gonna lie. <laughs> so that is that. Check out all of these shops. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I'm super chatty. I just really miss talking to you guys. I really enjoy filming. I just don't always find the time right now. But again, we'll be back to normal soon. So have a good one, stay safe and enjoy the weather if it is warm where you are. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.